and why I'm starting a t-shirt store. Um, what's up guys, what is going on? I'm Rafael Gregor and I'm a digital addict. So I started a t-shirt store and it's probably one of the scariest things I've ever done. Why is it so scary? Maybe I should add some context. About seven months ago, my first child was born and uh, I actually got an iPad Pro around the same time she was born. And this made me feel super guilty. I mean, this thing was stupid expensive and, and I was actually supposed to make a, 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 an iPad Pro review, but uh, I kind of just didn't. <laughs> Instead, I ended up doing some sort of clickbait video because I got the case first and I made a video about the stupid case, not the iPad Pro. Um, so yeah, the birth of my child really prompted me to start thinking about uh, the future a lot. And uh, so I, this is where I decided to use this stupid purchase uh, so that I can use it for something that would greatly benefit uh, my child or my family in some way. Um, but by the way, spoiler alert, my iPad Pro 2018 is probably one of my best purchases ever. <laughs> I've never been as productive as an artist uh, and I'll probably do a long-term review of it. Uh, now, this, just to add a little bit more context to why I'm doing this store, uh, the second thing is that I'm actually a, a designer and I'm in the most competitive field out there. You know, I'm getting older. My competition is getting younger. Uh, as a designer, I've always been working in an agency uh, full of teams. I've never done anything on my own. I have always relied on someone else for data strategy. But yeah, I, I may have a good job uh, right now, but you know, job security is not absolute. And all the trends I'm seeing in this industry is that I have to know a lot about everything to stay competitive. And I, I've done that. I've spent the better part of my career learning software. And I believe that was kind of probably the wrong thing to do. Uh, it was the right thing, but also the wrong thing. Why Why do I believe it's the wrong thing? It's because literally everyone, everyone out there has said, just learn more software. And that's the thing, I, as a designer, if, if everyone's saying to learn more software, learn it. And, but the problem is everyone learned the same thing. So yeah, I, I quickly learned that learning software, although valuable for my career, really put me in the tail end of the creative process. And when I say tail end, I, I was the one producing the, uh, someone else's ideas or, yeah, and, and I didn't really have a lot of control. I was basically executing someone else's idea. So to kind of prevent this, uh, for the past five years, I've dedicated most of my time learning skills that most artists or designers uh, do not necessarily uh, decide to learn. Um, you know, I really got into marketing so I can understand my my industry a bit more. Uh, at the time I was in, in, in advertising and it really helped me in my career to solve uh, visual problems more effectively when I could understand how to solve a communication problem. And I also got into video quite early um, before before uh, so that that learning video was probably one of my best uh, early investments. Uh, it really changed the, the direction of my career uh, as a designer. Uh, I also kept up a lot with technology trends, uh, such as YouTube's algorithm, uh, uh, which really helped me heaps to understand how, how to effectively pitch videos to a few clients. All that has led me here. After learning my life story, here's why I started an apparel store on Etsy. Um, I, I actually want to learn more. Uh, I specifically want to learn how to use social media more effectively. This, this includes both paid and organic. Um, the thing is, uh, uh, for a few years, I, I've learned I've, I've learned how to make video, photo, or, uh, or layout uh, content that follows, um, let's say, Facebook's um, best practices. Uh, 
and I've been doing that ever since. But I've never actually touched the actual advertising platform and, and program and target my ads to specific target markets. And I really wanted to get into e-commerce. I currently work in advertising uh, as a content creator, but because I feel that traditional advertising will need to integrate a lot more search optimization as consumers want more hyper-targeted solutions to their problems. I'm not sure uh, traditional advertising or marketing tactics uh, which focuses on, uh, on communication for a very large audience is enough in that world. And uh, e-commerce op search optimization uh, would be a really great tool under my arsenal. And there's no better way of learning e-commerce than actually just doing it yourself. Learn by doing. Um, I also want to improve my copywriting. Um, as a visual person, effective copywriting is something that really challenges me. Copywriting just hurts my brains. I mean, it really takes me a long time to communicate in very few words. And you can hear, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm reading off notes and I'm still rambling. But mostly, the reason why I'm doing this is I really want to make good art. In the past, I was literally wasting my art. I literally drew without any kind of purpose or meaning. I just drew stuff and uh, I really really want to use this uh, this opportunity and platform to start making content that's useful for people um, so yeah in the past six months uh, I've spent six months developing this I've, I've like I've spent six months researching testing and product development so I've never actually done this before so I learned everything I could one thing I learned while researching on how to make t-shirts is that there's a crap ton of information out there and most of it was catered to uh, to to marketers um, trust me I, I followed a lot of people who were suggesting all the same stuff and you can tell that if they're if they're talking about it this, this market is super oversaturated for them but I did find an opportunity because there's not too many designers and artists who know what they know and Hopefully, I will be able to share that information with you as well, because there's a lot of information and you don't need all of it. So I actually took a, about a, a, a roundabout way of learning everything. I had to relearn how to make T-shirts uh, because uh, the old way was was through uh, through uh, screen printing and, and it was very very time-consuming and this is partly why I never got into t-shirt designs but uh, this new technology called uh, direct to garment allows you to just do your work uh, with a transparent PNG um, without having to worry about what designers in the past had to worry about. I also learned a lot about social media marketing specific on Facebook, a little bit on Google, a little bit on Reddit um, each one has their own strengths, but uh, and I learned how to target my mark. Uh, I, I found my audience there. I'm not getting into advertising just yet. I just really want to optimize my, my current store. Yeah, the next thing was uh, the platform, and this was the hardest for me. Uh, I really wanted to do the least amount of work possible and, and really focus on only two things, which is uh, design and, and, and marketing. I'm definitely going to go into more detail in a future video, but long story short, I went from Threadless to Shopify, then to Teespring, and then to Redbubble until I finally settled with Etsy. As it really gave me the most features, those other platforms could not. So here's where I am today. Here's my store, which I launched a few days ago. And in about three days, I got a single sale. I experimented with the inbuilt advertising on Etsy, but I decided to turn it off um, because on, on the launch day, I decided to ask Reddit for a few critiques on, on my store. Reddit user Sirius Moonlight Sassy and Sweer 789 and uh, Prodromac gave me some really great valuable insights and, and great actionable critiques to help me with, uh, with my SEO, uh, the thing that I, I hate doing the most, but you, know, you got to make sure your content can be found by your target market. Anyway, um, they gave me some uh, few tips on pricing, search terms, um, but the most valuable piece of information it gave me was the was this uh, resource called the ultimate guide to Etsy search um, 
this is a really great way to get into a segue to my next video. So I'm going to be going through the ultimate guide uh, to Etsy search and I'll be fixing all my SEO problems. Um, I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but uh, making sure that your target market can find you is probably one of the most important things you need to consider before getting into a t-shirt market. You know what, yeah, come watch me uh, fumble through uh, SEO and try to figure it out. Yeah, don't worry. I have a bunch of other stuff planned um, where I talk about my design process, workflow, my rationale behind some of those illustrations as well. Uh, if you're an illustrator or designer looking for a new project to work on that can help you become more valuable as a creative, give me a follow. Um, I'll show you everything I know, but at the same time, you'll learn everything I don't know along with me. I'm just starting my journey. If you're interested in following me on this journey, do the thing so that you can watch a designer fumble their way on their own. Hopefully I won't fail too miserably, but either way, I'm going to have lots of fun making something new. Thanks guys. I'll see you on the next one.